hey guys welcome back to the session in this session we'll going to make use of uh, ns predicate to filter out large amount of data from core data and let's get started by implementing uh, this in our old project and uh, so in our previous videos we have seen that we created one uh, one demo project and in that demo pro uh, demo project we created one core data handler here so we're going to make use of that class so now first of all what we're going to do we will going to add one filter function here so create one class function class function and name it as filter data okay and this class function will going to return an array of object if there is an object available or so it is the last it is the end result of this function of this filter function if it's returning something then it will give an array of an object and if it is not then it will give an uh, empty area of object so so write let context and then get context so here it is and then let fetch request okay going to create a fetch request here fetch request so here it is and uh, this fetch request is of this class and it should be of user type okay got this okay user dot fetch request so here it is fetch request is available now what we will do we will going to create an object array of object user so and we will assign it as nil so initially it will be a nil and then we will going to create a predicate here predicate and ns predicate in later videos we're going to see that what predicate is and how we can use predicate in different different ways so so here we're going to predicate write in query okay and according to this query it will going to filter out a data percentage a and then we're going to write name like if you want to filter out thermander and then here it is so and then fetch request dot predicate so here it is and then assign predicate here okay predicate of okay so here it is it gives an okay now predicate okay it we misspell this so here it is format okay format f o r m t format okay so here it is now we will going to fetch okay the context dot fetch and then we'll going to pass fetch request here so here it is as uh, this is uh, is in 
should be in a try catch so you're going to write this in uh, do catch block so that if there is an exception then we can able to handle that so catch and then we're going to return a user or a nil so here we're going to return user here so but still the user is empty here it's a nil here so we will going to write user equals to so we're going to so what uh, this will do it will going to fetch the users as per this predicate and it will assign to this and this users will going to return back by this function in case if the user or if there is an exception or we can't able to fetch then it will not assign anything to the user object so it will remain nil here so 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 we are done with our code part now we're going to see that how we can make use this filter data so we're going to make it use of this filter data here so for that we need to make an entry uh, around four or five in the code data object so we will we will we'll calling say object for five times and then we're going to write like uh, Mark Shu Johan okay and then on mole on mole mother and then Russian Sony and can um, like Mishra so this is it here now uh, you may see you you are seeing uh, an, uh, yeah so you are seeing a warning here and this warning is basically uh, of a return statement that we use in a save object because save object is return something so if you want to ignore this warning then you need to go on save object and here you need to write at the rate discardable result so by writing this by using this statement you can ignore a warning on that controller so here it is after that you're going to now what we're going to do, we're going to comment out, out all these, okay? And then, and before this, we need to clear all, clear dot, clean, clear all, so, okay? And then what we'll do, we will going to call filter data function here so co data handler dot filter data here okay so here it is now we're going to write a statement to print the data so that we're able to know okay so here it is okay so here it is now we're going to run this code and let's see that what happens and how it filters data I think okay to fix it I think it's uh, it should be no it should be of null type it should have a null value then okay so here it is going to assign null value
du GA. So if this is it, now it will not give this error value. This uh, now it will not give this error, and uh, it is not unwrap. So we need to unwrap this also. So this is it. Let's uh, rerun this code. So meanwhile, we also going to write. We are also going to write code to ignore warning for clear all also. So here we'll be writing at the rate discardable result here. So if you go to here, then you will be seeing. You will not be seeing this warning here. So here it is uh, in the comment section that uh, it filter out Dharmendra Rajfroit and Dharmendra Mishra from these five objects. In the similar way, if you want to filter out only for Mishra or only for Rajfroit, then you can also do that. So you need to go here and then you need to write Mishra here. If you want to write or to filter Mishra here, then you need to change last name here and then Mishra here. And then you need to rerun this code. And so here we're going to see, so build is succeeded. So here it is, we have only one object that last name which has last name Mishra here. So in this way you can make use of NS predicate to filter out the large number of data that is available in the core data. So thanks for watching this video.